104.5 Triple M, the weekenders. Trent Quinn from I Think Property joins us this morning. Hello, Trent. Oh, mate, I'm a bit flat this morning. What's wrong, mate? You sound a bit slack. The Reds got beaten last night. That's the what's wrong. Force. Well, that's the second force. Yeah, what's home. what's happened? They, they, I mean, they, the Reds are doing so well on and off the field, like as a club, but they're just not getting the wins on the paddock. Oh, mate, in my humble opinion, anyone that wore a jersey last night numbered one to eight can hold their head high, and I shall leave it at that. <laughs> for, a more, for, for for a more direct opinion, feel free to follow my social media feeds. <laughs> Hey, mate, we're not going to talk about rugby. We're going to talk about real estate today. And Margot and I were having this debate off air, and we said, well, there's only one bloke that can help us out on this, is Trent Quinn. And uh, it's about whether or not when you're going to purchase a house, there's so many land and house packages now, or do you buy land, or do you do buy a pre-existed built dwelling? What is the best way to go for a person wanting to get into this market? Well, mate, it, it, uh, again, a lot of it is, is driven by personal circumstance and, and what your preference is for the type of home you're looking for. Now, as we alluded to a couple of weeks ago, there's a big drive on house and land packages at present with first home buyers wanting to get into the market before 30 June to take advantage of the first homeowner grant mm -hmm. where you get the really good concession on new product. But again, um, it comes down to personal circumstance. So for some people... They want the, the character home or an inner city location where there's not a lot of new stuff around. For other people, they want, you know, I, for those with OCD that want everything they want the way they want, and it's mm. got to be this and it's got to be that, then <coughs> building is your best option. Yeah, look, there's um, $4.4 million worth of development going on at the moment um, in between... Uh, Ipswich and um, South Ripley. Oh, it's um, huge it's, out there. It's just it's unbelievable what's massive. happening out there. It would blow your mind. And there's lots of talk, um, you know, within the Redlands community where development's happening and businesses are booming and establishing uh, communities out that way as well. So there's plenty of opportunities. And the pricing is starting, like it's saying here at Ripley, it's 159000 starting from, you know, for, for land. It's just um, crazy. Again, it, it, the devil's in the detail, Margot, and yeah, that, that sounds very enticing, but in some instances, it may be a case of where well, you can put your hand out the kitchen window and shake your neighbour's hand through oh, the right, kitchen yeah. window. So, yeah, so some of them can be the smaller lot type of stuff, but if you're a person with some financial constraints and you're keen to get in the market and that's your only option, well, take advantage of it because you get your name on the title mm. for, the invest, for the investor market that's attractive to them because it's a low maintenance property that they don't have to worry a lot about. And if an investor buys a brand new property, well, then they get the full whack of the depreciation schedule, which also helps from a taxation point of view as well. So it, it comes down to what's driving your decision behind the type of property that you wish to buy. Mm, and a lot of it, um, with, as you said, with the June 30 grant coming in, a lot of people are sort of heading that way and buying new properties. Yeah, correct. And I mean, there's, there's also a market if you're fortuitous enough to fall into this category where you want to live in town and you want something new. Well, go and buy an old home on a, on a nice big block of land and should there be no character constraints or council issues, we'll bowl it over and, and build the new joint on a big block of land close to town. So there's, there's a myriad of options. But Dobbo, your, your initial question, yep. it just comes down to what the individual person is looking to do and achieve as their end goal. Um, it, it amazes me that they're, so, they're finding more land. Where does it stop? Well, finding the land's the easy part, and I will give local government, whichever council it may be, and the developers, like finding the land and dividing up an old couple of hectare dairy farm into house lots is the easy part. But what they're working really, really hard on now is bringing in the, the public transport infrastructure, the, mm. the social amenity to it. So it's not just a housing estate because yeah. that's where from, for an all sorts of, you know, and I'm not a town planner nor anything like that, but that's where you can have a few dramas. But some of these estates now, like, and, and you mentioned it earlier, Margo, that Ripley corridor through the back of Red Bank Plains and out through to, um, to the back of the greater Springfield area, I, I It'll just blow your mind. Mm. Like and with there, that infrastructure there are and transport. going up every day. Yeah. Oh, it's unbelievable. And with the infrastructure and transport, it just brings more businesses to establish within the area, which builds the community around it. And then away you go. And yeah. then that releases pressure off the CBD. 
everything, you know, and again, I'm not a town planner, but they seem to be hitting the button with what they wish to achieve with all of this new development. Great. And I, and Great. I, know, you, I know you talked about um, some smaller lots there and touching your neighbours, but some of them are also like a 1,000 square metres you can get in some of these estates. Oh, yeah, and, and more power too, like a 1,000 square metres in, in the old vernacular, that's the good old-fashioned quarter acre. Quarter of an acre. And, yeah. and they're, they're as, as, as rare as hen's teeth. Even now it's finding harder to, to come across an 809 square metre block, which is the old 32 perch. Mm. But again, when looking to buy, I, I suppose the comment that I make to people is houses come and go. You can build whatever you like, wherever you like. You can bowl them over and start again, but they're not making any more land. Mm. And land, land is the key to it. The bigger the block of land that you can afford, well, the, the bigger the house, then you can pool, shed, kids can kick a footy, whatever the case may be. It's all happening. Trent Quinn from uh, I Think Property. Thank you, mate.